As we read in the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 41, they, to, they departed from the presence of the council rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. When you read Acts chapter 5, the disciples were preaching in the name of Jesus Christ. The council, the Sanhedrin council, the 70 elders of the Israelite nation, they became jealous. They said, hang on, who are these fishermen coming, speaking in the name of Jesus, doing miracles, healing the sick, doing wonders? They said, hang on, if we let them go like this that easily, they're going to take the whole people with them and we will be left alone, left behind. So they said, no, 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 no. They're not going to get away with it that easily. So they came and said to them, they came, grabbed them and threw them in prison. The angel of the Lord Jesus went that night, loosened everything, opened the gates, took the chains off, and he made them all come out with the doors still shut. The following day, the disciples are preaching. <laughs> the council thought they were in prison because they threw them in prison and locked the prison. Some soldiers came. They said, um, they, these people of Jesus, they're preaching. They said, what? They're preaching. So they, because we went to the prison, there is nobody there, but the doors are still intact, locked. So they brought them, they brought them to the council. Prior to bringing them to their council, one of the, one of the elder, one of the member of the Sanhedrin, the 70 elders, um, we, his, we pronounce his name in Aramaic, Gamliel. Gamliel. He said, he said to the other elders, he said, listen, if these people are from God, neither me nor you can stop this. Because if you're going to go against them, you are not going against them, you are going against God, and no one can go against God, so relax. But if these people are coming, speaking of, of their own accord, they are not of God, they are coming of their own accord, why are you making it a big deal? Leave them alone, they will destroy themselves by themselves. Because what is a lie will end up a lie and will perish. But if they are from God, time will tell if they are from God or not. Therefore, do not do nothing to them. Don't throw them in prison. Leave them alone. They agreed with it. So they brought the disciples, but they gave them a nice whip. They whipped them all. And then they released them. And that's why here it says, they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. Because their master was whipped. Their master suffered shame for our salvation. They said, thank you, Lord, for making us worthy to partake in your suffering, to share in your suffering. This is a priceless gift. We are not worthy of it. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for allowing us to suffer your pain, endure your pain with you, and making us put to shame the way you were put to shame for our sake. Because love is sharing and caring. When the Lord loves me, I need to love him back. When the Lord endured suffering for me, I need to also endure suffering for him. This is true love. It's a two-way street. It is not a one-way street. The saints and the apostles considered all such suffering a blessing that they did not deserve. Wow. Do we consider suffering a blessing or do we take it as a curse? When we go through some trouble sometimes, the first thing we say, God, please, enough. I mean, can't you find someone else? Why are you stuck with me? Like, why are you just bashing me up? Can't you go and bash that guy over there? 
Look, I'm praying for you. That guy has denied you. He's not going to church. For your sake, I'm going to your church. I'm praying for you, to you. I'm doing things for you, my Lord. Why you keep on bashing me up? Go and bash that guy who's denied you. He lives in the world. He goes downtown. <laughs> he goes clubbing, baby. I go to the church. He goes to the club. You come and bash me up. Bash the one who's in the club, not in the church. No. When we endure suffering, the Lord has given us his cross. The cross is also glory. The cross is salvation. The cross is redemption. Through the cross, I was giving eternal life. The cross is also resurrection. If I truly love Christ, I can't just say, Lord, just give me Sunday. Forget about Friday. No. I need to take all. It's a package. I need to take it all. Please drop in your comments and questions. Please like and subscribe.